So after you've uh, set up your new project for calculator, let's go. We go ahead into the design tab and we start building. The calculator, of course, will need um, to make it easier. We're going to have two input uh, boxes. And don't worry about the fact that it's text boxes. We're still going to be putting numbers in there. The label up here that I'm adding is uh, going to store the results, which is why I name it result. I know I did not name the text boxes that way, but in general, for most of the for most of the uh, things you make, you should go ahead and name them well. So that way, when you're looking for their IDs, it's it's pretty easy to distinguish them. All right. Well, we need four buttons for the four operations that code.org's app lab allows for. Uh, we will we will do things with a fifth operator called modulus later on. But for now, uh, as you can see, of course, we got these four basic operators of uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And this is where we get to the point where I remember myself to go ahead and name them. Because when you're just looking at button one, button two, button three, button four, well, there's no real reason why you should have to remember which one is which. So name them. And I do specify in each of these IDs that it's a button. You know, it's the addition button, it's the subtract button. It, just so that way I know what I'm what kind of thing I'm dealing with. Maybe not as much of a problem in this small of a project, but in a lot of projects, you might have several things named multiplication. You really do want to know which one's your button and which one is your, uh, your label. Now here's something a bunch of you maybe haven't been doing, is naming a function. Functions are repeatable procedures, but they can only be repeated if you give them a unique name. So I named this one, of course, add. Now we're going to go to a, uh, a toolbox maybe you haven't been looking at a lot for math. Since the first, what we call it, parameter of this set text function is uh, where we're putting it, and the second one is uh, what text we're actually putting there. This is where we, of course, need to have this uh, plus sign from the, um, from the math toolbox. And this pretty much just kind of writes itself. I mean, you, know, you give it two numbers, hit the add button, there it is. None of the others work yet, but that's what we're going to build next. Now, I'm really only going to show you building the uh, subtract button, just so we can have two of those. Uh, because all the rest are really just going to do the same thing. You build this event, name it with a unique name, use the set text function to uh, change the text of result to this math equation. And in case you haven't picked up on it yet, the function there called get number is where um, is what we can use to actually get the number from the text box. That's why I said don't worry about the fact that it's a text box. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, you can make, convert that to just using text instead of the blocks if you would like to, if you're uncomfortable with the blocks, like you're a programmer for many years and you, you don't like them, you always do that. But anyways, the get number uh, thing will get the number even if it's text. All right, so I'm gonna go and just pull up one, the project already built for this, uh, where we have all four pieces, and run it. 
yeah, as you can see, it's pretty much exactly what we had in the other one, just for all four uh, operators. So we put in our numbers, 15, negative 5, 0.5, and 50. And I'm hoping you understand basic math enough that that all made sense to you. Thanks for watching.